Hello guys and welcome to Pro Design channel. In this video, I will show you a simple technique I use to turn my ordinary rendered images into very realistic ones using AI. Are you tired of doing so much and not getting your desired results? With simple clicks and a few tweaks, you can enhance your 3D images. Ensure you stay with me throughout this video to grasp every bit of information I'm about to share. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The name of the AI tool is Kriya. Kriya is an artificial intelligence based platform that generates great quality video, enhance and upscale images. All this you can try for free. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use its enhancer feature to make our rendered image look more realistic. I have this rendered image that I created recently. Let's go on to perform some magic. So this is basically how the interface looks like. You can sign up for free. Once you are on the interface, you see different functions that it performs. Like we have the AI video generation. This is real time AI generation. You can generate images with this from scratch just by entering prompts. Uh, this AI video also would generate video based on your prompts. This is the end answer here. It helps kills images and videos. So you can upload your image and it can enhance it for you. It can make it look better, much more realistic depending on your prompts and settings. So let's jump right into the end answer by just clicking on this. We have the interface here and we want to either drag in our image or we come here and click you can also click on this plus icon or anywhere here to bring in your rendered image at uh, the left here we see all the images that have been enhanced here the beauty of this is it is for free you can enhance your images but it is limited it regenerates for you per day so you have enough to work with guys let's go on and bring in some image i have this image that i recently created with sketchup and v-ray or sketchup so what i'll do is click on it and open so it waits for it to upload immediately it uploads you see different information this is the upscale resolution here from four times to eight times, uh, you need subscription, but two times is okay. I've been using two times and it's really nice. We have the upscaling here. By default, it already generates your prompt based on what it perceives this to be. And what it says here is that the image depicts a modern two-story house with a red brick exterior and a white gabled roof all right so it's not all correct but to some extent really on the right track so you can add to the prompt depending on what you want for instance i usually do something i had realistic like i said your result depends on how clear your prompt is to the ai nice you know it says white gabled roof no let me remove white you know this way you edit and enhance the automatically generated prompt so that you refine it to suit what you really want to achieve with the image so the next is to come to this part so let's set the strength now do you want the artificial intelligence creative strength to be high or low you know the higher the creative strength is the further the outlook or the outcome of the image would be from the original image and most of the time you don't really want that because you've rendered an image based on what you want you don't want the AI to come up with its own creativity and distort all that you've created so you just want it to be like that what you want to enhance here is the quality of the image most importantly how realistic your materials look your grass your walls you no know, these materials needs to be realistic so basically for me 
what i actually use this for is to enhance my materials it makes them look much more realistic in this case we want to just reduce this strength to as low as about 45 0.45 you know that's what i use then the resemblance so the resemblance will go higher of course because you want whatever the ai generates to resemble what you brought in we can make this about 70 or 60 you know six from 65 to 70 this is nice then the clarity you know i really don't do this because once this is done i move straight to photoshop and then i finish up with the post-production there so once that is done let's just enhance so you click on enhance and it starts to work on your prompts to give you a result and guys we have this if you look closely you see that it looks cool if you zoom in you can see the grass looks uh, realistic but it looks distorted as well you know you see it looks really uh, distorted and not like what we have here so also we have very strong contrast from our texture which uh we might want to revisit some things on the prompts this uh, oh, on the settings you know this is looking good and i like this you know the reflection you know it looks nice uh you know let's come here to the strength and tone it down then let's just tone down to 30 59 i want to enhance again and now this looks much more gentle unlike what we had here so once you've identified the one that you like you can just click on on that like we're on this you can download and you have what you just created downloaded for you we've been able to enhance our ordinary rendered image which is this to this you know i have one other thing that i do which is the last i go to photoshop and overlay this on the original so any part that i really do not like to be enhanced as it is or the output of the enhanced image i'll erase and leave the ones that i like sometimes i blend them together you know so it creates much more realistic feel of whatever you've created and a very bold output so let's move now to photoshop we are now on photoshop so what we want to do is to add the two images so we'll come here to our image so this is the this is the ordinary and this is the enhanced uh, let's bring in the ordinary here to serve as the parent and now that we have that i will drag in the enhanced just right on top of that and you see that it looks smaller than that uh, what i want to do is to centralize then by holding the alt function on my keyboard i scale evenly in all sides in order for me to really match with the one below what i do is i set the opacity to about 60 and then i scale uniformly it's not compulsory that you have it perfectly aligned but at least try your best to make sure they are aligned if you are seeing some blurry effect that means it's not yet aligned like this so that means some of them are still overlapping uh, you drag until you have clear alignment of your image and guys i think this is nice once i've done this 
the next thing for me is to create a layer mask of the enhanced you want to click on the, the mask layer here and start to erase the ones or the parts that you do not want and let me increase this a bit so as for me i'm really cool with a lot of things maybe on the grass you can just erase some 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 stuff but for this this is really cool for me so let's go on and come to the brush so with the brush tool you can erase the parts that you do not want so while erasing just reduce the opacity you don't want it to erase everything you just want to blend so that's what i do i just blend especially my grass no i don't want it to be a little bit gentle you know just a little touch of the waviness and all so this is really nice it's really cool and you can see it's just soft too so i love this but i can just still just erase a little bit i love this this part and this part as well maybe i want to reduce the texture here basically i'm cool with every other thing the next thing for me is to match so once i'm cool with this i just match click on it then match layers so once i've matched these layers then i can go to filter camera raw filter that's what i use for most of my post-production on photoshop it speeds up your work and you get very good quality results to contrast um let me okay let me have the contrast then the highlight the shadow then we have the clarity that's too much the haze all right guys then with the next all right we can add a little bit of distortion which i'm always very careful to do all right then sharpening let's come here and expose your all right So this is the outcome of our enhancement. We've been able to learn about Krea to enhance our 3D rendered images and also how you can blend them together on Adobe Photoshop. And guys, we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned one or two things from this video, kindly subscribe, like, and hit the notification icon to get notified anytime a video like this is published. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.